All righty, ladies and gents, welcome to something we have never done before. We have eight players. There's four players over here starting on a little ice island. They have to hop onto their transports. And then you've got four players over here doing the same thing. But there are three wonders. So we've done King of the Hill countless times. There's actually three hills. It's always weird because they're never actually on hills. Have you ever seen a King of the Hill map that actually had a hill? Uh, that's not that's not the case. But I don't know. Um, you know, I do not know if it's going to work easily on screen for us because I haven't tried this with Capture Age. But the way it works is instead of one wonder, there's three. There could be three separate countdowns. You could have 350 years and 200 years and then 100 years. The way you win this game, and it's a straight free for all, there's no diplomacy, so everyone's set as enemies, um, is you have control of one wonder and take the countdown down to zero. So shout out to Killer Cow. Killer Cow is actually the one who made Cow Nothing. I can actually see some of the similarities there, like this little path that you can take with your transport ship. It's pretty cool. Reminds me of certain aspects of that map. And we have eight players. Uh, there's no scout. Actually, no, I lied. There are scouts out there, so they'll eventually make it over to the Wonders. And the map looks really cool. Now, at first glance, I'll just say that. If you're wondering what this is about, and there's our countdown, uh, this is simply for the map script. So I guess there was a concern uh, to get multiple wonders to work and have multiple countdowns. This area is not an area that you really have to pay attention to, but I'm just pointing out that it is here because it is what allows this map to work in the way that they want. Uh, Shulker also complaining now because there's no resource trickle. So I was curious on that. Um, normal King of the Hill, you actually get resources when you control the middle. Apparently that's not the case here. All right, so let's get our introductions in. We have eight players. I'm sure these guys would love to be legends. Uh, we've got Ned61. Somebody's being attacked at the moment as well. I do not know who. Uh, Ned61 is playing as the Vikings. Civwise, I have to talk about the other civilizations, but I'm a little bit concerned, though I think Elite Berserk could be pretty freaking strong later on for red. Um, in the blue, we have T90 fanboy Scrompatero. Uh, I think I got that right. Uh, maybe I just lost a fan. Uh, blue, uh, playing as the Gurjaras. Um, in the green, we have Jammed Al 5. And Jammed Al 5 is playing as the Berbers. In the yellow, we have Demon Llama playing as the Lithuanians. Pretty strong civilizations there. Uh, on the right side, then, we have Heistermint playing as the Portuguese. In the gray, we've got Ellen Deal playing as the Tatars. In the purple, we have Shulker playing as the Aztecs. And then last but not least, we've got Microsoft Paint playing as the Persians. And I've just noticed something. I'm going to mention it now because if Killer Cow is watching, I want to make sure this isn't bugged. That wonder was changed over to gray and it reset to 350 year timer. That's not normal. Um, normal King of the Hill, the timer will never go up unless it's gone below 100 years. So if it was on Shulker, let's say at 30 years, and then it switched to gray, it would go up to 100. So Killer Cow, if you're out there, I'd actually love some clarification on that. Because if that bad boy goes up to 350 from anywhere, this might be a never-ending game. <laughs> Someone having to hold the wonder for 100 years is already long enough. Uh, Killer Cow is correct. Each one resets to 350. Forever? Like, if it goes down to two years... And then if it resets, it goes back up to 350. I mean, you know, we have never tried it before. The killer cow says it's not never ending. Trust me. Okay, so that's how we're doing it. Well, that's a very different change. So, uh, you know, strap in could be a long one. There are three wonders, though. There are three. So I think the fact there's three could make it very different. Um. Alrighty, so I want to think about their starts here, right? Like, I really like what yellow is done here. Yellow pulled off to the side, found the nice TC spot, um, has some golden stone. I, I'm really not a fan of green's position because jammed owl is, for lack of a better word, kind of jammed into this, this area where there's no stone or no gold. Really like the players that expanded. Um, the other thing that I should mention is that this wonder... You need to chop through to. 
So red's kind of doing that. You can see red has placed the lumber camp here. A shulker placed the TC here. And so um, that's an option as well. And I also love the bridges on it too. I'm assuming you can also dock as well if you wish to. But I think we have a long time here until we see this uh, actually, you know, turn into some warfare. Especially because the Wonders resets to, 50, to uh, 350 years every single time. So we'll see how things develop. But yeah, just final clarification on this point. And from my live viewers, you can help each other out if people ask. This area... Whoa! The Tatar Wonders sick! Um, this area is just a map scripting thing. Anytime someone controls a wonder in the middle, there will be a wonder that just appears here. There's nothing you can really do about this. So. All right. Civilizations. Civilizations. I actually think the Tatars could be awesome if they can get map control. I'm concerned by the lack of stone on the map. It feels like it's going to be hard to find. There's actually a lot of stone and gold in the north. So going to the north would be really important, but I was thinking like cav archers and hussars and flaming camels could actually be really strong. Um, I think the Gurjaras could be sick as well if they can get to their unique unit, the Chakram. Lithuanians can be top tier, Persians actually. Actually, I think all these civilizations are strong. The only one that doesn't excite me that much for King of the Hill would maybe be the Aztecs, believe it or not. Like not having a high HP unit could be an issue on King of the Hill. You want tanky units, but they do get siege ramp, so that's pretty cool. Are there fish in the moat to the south? No, there's not. You can't dock here. This is blocked off with rocks. But there are fish in the corners here, and you can see Gray's made use of that. Normally, this will tell you the experience of players, whether or not they're docking these types of areas and the level of importance they put on that. Pretty close game so far, though, considering it's a nomad start. I'm really surprised nobody's taking the other monument. Well, from as far as I can see, right? Like, if this countdown just resets to 350, it really makes no big difference right now, right? Um, if it reset at a different time, I think it'd be a little bit different, but I don't think it's going to make any difference because, like, this is essentially stuck at 350. This is probably going to reset at 350 any moment if someone comes over here. I do kind of like how there's big chunks of gold next to the monument here. So like your best uh, source of gold income, if you're in the southern side, is you're going to want to be around that monument, which kind of promotes some aggression there. So we'll see. Hey, Alpha, I've got to learn my fish traps thing, man. But... If you watch the Black Forest game, I blame Viper. There's no reason I should have had Spearman killing my fish trap in the first place. All Viper's fault. Not a big guy to blame my teammates unless it's Viper. And there we go. Countdown just resets to 350. So again, these monuments, it doesn't show, but they're just forever stuck at 350, right? And the countdown doesn't start until someone gets there. God, I think this game's going to be so long. Oh, I'm so scared. Like, I love the concept. I love the concept. The map itself is really cool. I didn't know that you could do multiple wonder countdowns. I'm also pumped because it seems like Capture is working with it. But uh, I'm just like, uh, I, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm just scared. <laughs> the very important point of King of the Hill is that is that wonder reset. Uh, these guys are talking about how nervous they are and they're shaking whatever else. Blue with the dock block! Sick! I don't know what it accomplishes, but it looks cool. So well done. Actually, are both of these areas dock blocked? That's pretty cool. Killer Cows, the longest game I had was one hour and 40 minutes game time out of three games. Okay. All right. I trust you, Killer Cow. I mean, I think we've got a nice level here. Um... I think we got like three to four players, which are going to be one step up on the rest. But I don't think there's going to be massive ELO differences. I'm going off of memory, though. I don't really know with certainty what these the rankings are for the players. But I've seen more players around than others. Uh, Demon Llama says, Shalker, no hard feelings about last time. We can be friends this time. So something happened there. I don't really remember. And hey, there we go. Shalker started this one. 
Now, this one, you could be pretty strategic. Because you could walk over here, and you could wall this, and you could keep the others out. It's a little late for that. Red is already through here. But I'm glad Capture H tracks this. Oh, it says triple editions at the top, by the way, instead of triple edition. Horrible. Horrible, horrible. No one's going to like the YouTube video now. Hmm. It's just, just admiring some of the scenery here, man. I, I love bridges so much. I recognize that it can be kind of awkward um, to, to incorporate bridges into competitive maps. Dude, I used to go into the scenario editor and just make scenarios and just watch battles. Um, that's what I did, you know, the first time I played the game. Give myself all the coolest units, give myself a really big base, put it on the other side of a bridge, and just watch the AI funnel inferior units across the bridge. And I just sit there and stare at it. I wouldn't really control units much. And so bridges are very nostalgic for me in this game. Also, <laughs> did anyone else? used to get really annoyed when placing bridges is sometimes they wouldn't fit in the land properly because <laughs> that happened to me here's teal's base for you peach uh yeah petro and we do have a stone wall here from shulker but ellen deal has made a tower and some militia so ellen deal wants through here i guess and is being aggressive against shulker and shulker's just not having it but Shulker, are you not going to use this TC anymore? <laughs> okay, that answers that. <laughs> I didn't actually think that he would just get rid of it. <laughs> wow, one tower, two outposts, two militia, and a scout show up, and Shulker deletes his entire economy. He says, nope. <laughs> but it's funny, because right now... <laughs> He thinks he's the only one over here. He's like, oh my goodness, I'm a genius. I am so smart. And then meanwhile, Red's already through. He's going to find Red over there later on. Red's going to be in Castle and everything. That's not going to be good. No one has started this monument. But like I said, since the countdown resets at 350 years, I don't think it matters that much. Um, total eco count right now. Fairly even across the board. Shulker obviously going to be way far behind because he deleted his TC. And we have, wow, we have more dock blocking here. I think T90 Fanboy just likes it when I say dock block. But I guess, guess this is as safe as you can be. But remember, it's played on Explored, guys. So you need to get over to the gold. It says, only talking to you, Red. Sorry, but got no other gold. I see. Okay. I was just heading over to this gold and feels a little bit bad about it. Can I please take it? Remember, it's not Diplo that can't actually ally, but you can still have these side conversations if you wish to. They do not get resources from the Wonders. And we'll see how things play out. Purple in the Castle Age, making lots of town centers to boom up. Good stuff. Uh, why did I say purple when I looked at orange? I do not understand my brain. A green... Not happy that blue has the docks here. And T90 Fanboy says, Green, why? Please let me fish. I mean no harm. And green just says, my pond. <laughs> I like it. And and to be honest, green needs to green needs something like that because I'm not liking how little green is expanded. I'd prefer it if green were to build more TCs out here. That's looking much better now. Um, even has some scouts on the field too. So could try to control the wonder. Um, can't say I agree with how Shulker's played it, but it certainly is made for entertaining move to see the, the double stone wall and just delete. Does Shulker still have a scout at all? Hmm. There's still some vills there. Oh, that's kind of cool. Two transport ships. It's like the, the captains of the ships are just, how's it going over there, Marv? I don't think Marv really sounds like the name of someone who would be a captain of a ship, but... It's going good, Harry. I, home Alone, you know? I, I don't know why I have Home Alone on the mind right now. Are that their names? The Wet Bandits. Or the Sticky Bandits. They had multiple names. Uh, what, what was the... Uh, what were their names? Marvin Harry, right? I should probably know that. 
Okay, Blue's not impressed. <laughs> I could captain a ship. I believe it. <laughs> okay, Teal is through. So Teal's just chopped through naturally with some good economy. We'll now drop TC number two. But Teal's had a you know, nice little fish boom. We actually have uh, some fighting on water here. Both players making Navy. Could go any direction. I would say that I give an edge right now to the Persian player. Better micro, more ships. Also has the War Galley upgrade in queue. It is annoying for Gray. And even Shulker's over here now with a dock, which is kind of late. It's a Wet Bandits. What were they first? They changed their name, didn't they? I act like that's like a really big part of the plot. Man, Blue is really scared of the Overchop. Walling around this wood line. And are we going to have someone control this monument finally? Hey, we do. So you can control more than one monument at once. Ah, you know what's interesting that I it just kind of dawned on me here. There's this rock between the trees. It's in this Y shape. And that makes it extremely complicated to be able to control both of these wonders. And like this as well. So like, I guess you'd want to chop through here and you'd want to chop through here. So that would allow you closer access to all the wonders. But I wonder how people are going to play it. Like, are you going to go for just one of them? Kind of makes sense. But if you commit everything towards one and then you die there, you could be in trouble. Hmm. Demon Llama definitely seems to be going for it. Now, here's my question. If I click this, ooh, that's, that's going to take some memory. So we know that this one is the 174-year one. But Capture Age doesn't actually tell me that. Also, Lithuanian Wonder looks pretty dope. Because when I click that, it takes me to this because of how the map works. Home Alone 1, Wet Bandits. Home Alone 2, Sticky Bandits. All right, I had it right. Good old Sticky Bandits. Um, as expected, Microsoft Paint will dominate. And take out all the fish over here. And guys, I'm really hoping that someone competes against Yellow over here. It would be so fitting for me to be alarmed by the fact that it, w the countdown doesn't reset to uh, after it goes under 100 years and then have yellow just win. I want to know if Shulker knows he's got company here. Now, the farms are a capture age thing. I don't think he has any indicators telling him that people are here. And Red just reset that countdown. Okay. What's their point of view? Oh, you know what's awesome? So I have given this feedback before to the devs. Uh, we'll see if they ever get around to implementing it. But I think that in King of the Hill, the wonder doesn't give enough vision. And what Killer Cow has done here with his script is he's given the wonder a lot more vision. Because normally you have like one tile of vision around the monument and you don't really know how much army is there. So it, it, it leads to us as spectators being like, oh my God, why aren't they sending army? But they don't know what's there. Here, you can clearly see around the monument and have an idea of, of what they have. So I really like that change. Yeah, as it stands, if I'm yellow, I actually would give up on this one and I would send all my army here. I think what's going to hurt yellow is that he doesn't actually have military production buildings over there he, since his base is over on this side. Okay, Shulker is garrisoned. Gray showed up here, I think, with a mining camp. This is the same player that had, like, kind of forced Shulker out in the first place. And then Teal also running over this way. Probably wanted to drop a town center here. There's already stuff here. <laughs> Gray wants to drop a town center here. There's already people here. How did Gray make it through? I seriously don't know. Maybe Gray somehow, like, ran through Teal's around Teal's base? It must be. Well, Gray and Gray and Shulker are having a rough time at the moment. Hmm. So you need one of the wonders to go down to zero years. One of them. Just one. And the current wonder that is or that is realistic is this one. If memory serves me correct. Holy TC's here for Ned. Ned's going crazy with the town centers. Also sending Pikemen here to this wonder. 
only thing Ned doesn't see is that there's actually a castle here from Demon Llama. Do you know how to cheese Masterpiece Achievement? No, I don't even know what that achievement is. I'm not a big achievement guy. If I get an achievement, I'm like, oh, that's cool. Forgot about that, you know? So Red's got a few town centers. We are about to see wonder number one, if we could call it that, go down below 100 years. But it does not reset back to 100. It resets all the way back to 350. And T90 fanboy is still nervous. Just chill out. It's fine. You're good. No pressure. I've had people say the more community games they play and the more they get used to the nerves. I guess it's like some people are scared to play ranked. So then you're playing and you know that thousands of people are going to see it. So I can kind of get it. There might be confusion for these guys. Shulker says 100 years on Yellow's Wonder. Do they know which one? Because Yellow has two of them. Credit to Gray. Gray says K. Gray's like, I got this. I might have low eco right now, but I'm going to stop this. Dude, guys, Yellow would just win this. Like, this would be the most boring game ever if Yellow knew and remembered that this is the wonder that's at 100 years. Yellow would simply just bring, should just bring this army over here and protect this. And I actually think Yellow would win. Blue's going to be Imp. Blue's producing from this side. Red is producing on the left side. We don't have any army from Orange yet. We don't have any army from Teal. Like, <laughs> they don't have it right. But Gray could save the day, because otherwise this is just going to be a waste for us. It's going to be a disappointing game. Kashyyyk's are a pretty good unit. We also have a couple Spearmen coming in. This has not prompted Yellow to send any more army over here. And so Yellow, for you, I'm just going to pretend that you, you wanted this to be good content. And you knew that this wonder was the one that was at 70 years. And now it reset. Okay, so this reset to 350. And now Red's contesting this one. So Yellow's... Also, it's possible Yellow doesn't ex know exactly how all this works. But holy crap, that's a lot of Viking Pikemen. And they might have the Chieftain upgrade as well. Uh, you do extra bonus damage against Cav. And now Red resets that one. Okay, so now Red has this one. Not controlling it with any units. And Yellow just says, damn. And probably felt like there was a chance that he could get away with the win there. Good job from Shulker to say something. Good job from everyone else to start competing for it. Now we really have the King of the Hill fighting beginning. And I'm extremely concerned for a few players, but mainly one. And if you guys had to guess which player I'd be concerned with, think about it. Look at the mini map. Tell me what you think. <laughs> Again, could be multiple, but there is one player that is in the... the Warpath. <laughs> and the player that is in the Warpath is... No, it's not Shulker. He's kind of out of the way. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's Teal. I, I was thinking Gray because Teal's going to come from this side and run right through Gray and Gray's bottom score. Gray's got 65 bills. I guess Shulker's got 41, which isn't great. Hmm. Now, blue really doesn't want to be attacked by red. They're going to have to figure that out at some point. It does seem like blue is, you know, being honest about it. Um, somehow the one... Whoa! What's happening? It's a bug! Wonders are consistently being destroyed. And I think they're hearing like the wong, wong, wong. I think they're hearing the wonder noise. <laughs> what is this? So this is a bug. This scenario uses wonders in the south of the map to start the countdown. And you can see the countdown's all screwed up here. I don't know how they fix this exactly. Um, so that wonder might just be ruined forever. <laughs> And, and it's so bad for them, apparently. They're turning off their audio. That looks really cool, though. I'm hoping we could somehow fix it, but I, I just don't know. Like, I think yellow, the way to fix it is leave the wonder and try and get someone else in there to change ownership. But I don't think they realize why that's happening. That's apparently lagging gray out as well. Well, that sucks. Players need to recapture Yellow's Wonder to fix it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too, but like no one's done it yet. So if they could 
realize that's the situation, then maybe they can make it happen. <laughs> Yellow's dead. Wait. Oh my god, did he drop? Oh my god. That explains it then. And Shulker says, someone take this. Maybe it'll stop. Okay, Shulker, really a man of the details here. Ah, oh, yellow drop. Thanks, DE. Sorry, Demon Llama. Well, that's probably what's happening then. And that's exactly what has happened. So, whoa. Oh, okay, that was confusing because it's actually really cool how the wonders appear in all these different spots, but Red took this one and then lost this one to Teal. Okay, so they have solved that problem. Now, in my defense, I don't hear when a player drops, there's no defeated noise uh, in the game. They just, like, disappear. Um, so you guys, like, I, I get that I'm also looking at the same screen as you, but it's kind of hard for me to notice that sometimes when I'm expecting players to be alive. Sad times for yellow, happy times for the players, so they don't hear the constant wong noise all the time. And I think that's the first time I've ever seen the Gurjara Wonder, and that is awesome. So we have Microsoft Paint with two out of the three wonders. T90 fanboys got one of them. Guys, there's a certain area in the map that I think red can dominate, and it's this wonder. I hate the fact that the production buildings are all going towards the north. I want to see all the production buildings here, but I think if red just fully committed towards this wonder... Assuming the other wonders weren't ahead of him, which I guess it would be because he'd have to take this back, I think Wonder could do it. I think Yellow's score is high because the game has essentially said this guy made 65 wonders. <laughs> do you get a score boost for destroying wonders and building wonders? Because I wonder if it added both. That's a lot of score. It probably was more than 65 wonders as well. Hmm. Green? Oh, I thought those were conics for a second. He's Berbers. Those are Genitors. Hmm. Red is now an Imp. I did see Chieftains researched in the Northern Castle. Supplies is on the way. Then Man at Arms and then uh, Arson. But Red's got the right idea. Production buildings here and then production buildings in the North as well. Gray and Teal are continuing to run into each other, something that I kind of expected from what we had seen earlier. Wow, Green's got a lot of military, but is it the right military? Do you really want Genitors? It's a skirmisher unit. Excuse me. Yeah, you could wall off the bridges. You could, like, make production buildings here, make gates, and then, uh make a run for it. It does seem like Teal is actually committing towards this one. I'm trying to remember now which wonder, because since Teal's got two, like which one's at 240 and which one's at 290. I think this one's at 290. And Teal is Persians and Persian crossbowmen only cost wood after their unique tech. So tons of crossbowmen are being sent to the middle here. I mean, you've got a sizable force here, which can't be killed. It hasn't been killed yet. And then you've got a sizable force here. Top one's 290. Okay, that's what I had thought. Okay, let's see if the genitors are. Uh, blue is missing almost every single armor upgrade. So the genitors are actually going to do a pretty good job. And also, even if they did one damage a hit, there's a hundred of them. <laughs> so... Not bad. We haven't seen Orange make a push yet. Like, Orange is absolutely going to push this one, right? But when Orange does that, then this one is going to be the one that has the lowest countdown. Guys, this is really cool. This is really cool. It really gets you thinking. And it's like, is somewhat strategic too. And you got to like choose your timings. I mean, I'm really excited to see how this plays out. Demon Llama, I'm really sorry that you dropped, by the way. I, I haven't seen any chat from you, so I don't know if it was your internet or the game or what. Uh, Orange says, does Wonder restart at 350? Question uh, mark. Welcome to the game, Orange. Yes, it does. It has been doing that the whole game, but I know you've been distracted on massing your organ guns. And you've got a lot of organ guns, and you've got a lot of halves, so well done on that. 
This is one of the best army comps you could have. I think the thing that really counters this would be like Siege Onagers, but there's no Siege Onagers out there. A uh, Shulker here with Aztec Crossbowmen and is just mopping up Red's villagers. And Red says, Purple, please do not attack. Um, well, don't tell him to get ballistics and you're probably going to be okay. I mean, that's kind of what you have to do. Shulker says, get off my gold. Yeah, just don't take his gold and it probably won't be a problem. Over here, green's got one wonder. Teal has two. Gray has not contested. I'm a little confused. Gray has not contested this yet. I think it's just because Gray's position is so rough right now. And Gray was trying desperately to complete this castle and is now like, Teal, stop it. I was tempted to do diplomacy so people could be a little bit more agreeable with each other, but I decided on free for all because King of the Hill. And I, I just think Gray's in a really nasty spot being stuck between all these people. And I I am very interested to see how this goes because this this wonder's at 240. This one's at 180. This one will be lost to Orange. There's no doubt in my mind that Orange will make a push there. Also, really like the wall there from Orange. Orange is like, I've got a straight shot to one wonder, and that's all that's my whole plan. But if you reset this, then this is the wonder that has the lowest countdown. And oh my god, someone just honked their car horn outside. It scared me. Um, and yeah, it just really feels like Teal's going to have a lot of army there. And Red's production is just so far away. Man, the production buildings couldn't really be further away. How many Genitors? 116. Not bad. Uh, Red's got 143 eco. These are the stockpiles. Red does have 13,000 gold. So it feels like Red is just waiting for the eventual army spam. Not sure how long he can realistically wait, though. But yeah, if players were to onager cut here and here, you could then access that other wonder. And I think that's the idea. We have it played on Explored so the players could see it. You could also chop through with villagers, obviously, but it's almost like they're in separate sections because there's, uh, there hasn't been any onager cutting there. So Shulker not in a great spot. Mm. Very interesting how this game plays out. I think red placing so many TCs early was such a good idea. Gray just says, Teal, we are not friends. Fair understandable and red is still getting annoyed at purple for killing villagers all i'll say is with 15k gold i hope that red explodes with a massive amount of military later also you could just garrison your tc and kill this and then deal with the problem yourself and that's exactly what red's gonna do teal's gonna have a straight shot to two wonders and shulker's not actually that much of a threat over on this side yet the Shulker has 5k gold, but is, doesn't really have a lot of army right now. Teal's got 100 army. Green's got 130 army. Obviously, it's just an army of Genitors, though. And Green's slowly making a push against Blue, too. And, like, Blue really struggling to, like, get into this game. Remember, didn't really expand to the north to get any much extra gold, at least. It does still seem to be missing some blacksmith upgrades and just numbers in general. Blue's going to leave this game thinking Genitors are insanely overpowered. <laughs> and Genitors can be good in some situations. Uh, wouldn't necessarily suggest them against Gurjara Heavy Camel. <laughs> but it's going to work, kind of. Yeah, well, I mean, it's going to kill the Camels, but did lose the traps. Alright, Red getting going through some upgrades right now. And I think, you know, one thing I'll say about Teal's current position is that I think he's got one go at it. If he doesn't win it with one of these wonders, it's possible for him to come back, of course. But I think Orange is going to dominate this wonder. Orange is just set up for it, is just waiting for it, right? And I think Red, even though the production buildings are so far away, I think Red will really have a strong position in the north. 
As for this wonder, I have no clue, because the person controlling it right now is someone making janitors. And maybe that's enough. <laughs> maybe that's enough. Against, because it's like a 1v1 between green and blue, so. But they need to start making moves for it. It was Shulker last time who said something. Like, yo, guys, we've got to go. We'll see who says something this time. Gray is, is pretty much out of the game at this point. Uh, still waiting to see how this game flows. Still waiting to see if Heisterman is going to make a move. I feel like the longer you wait, like, they're both, they're all waiting so much time right now, and it's freaking me out, man. Like, if Red doesn't take the monument back in the north with 14k gold, I will not be happy. <laughs> Red is 150 villagers. Red, you've shown that you can get to spamming. You, you did it before. I'd like to see it now. Red's not making anything. Oh my god, but the TCs, though. You know what this reminds me of, guys? This reminds me of the Forest Nothing video. The Forest Nothing cast. I remember players were placing TCs like this, and I was like, what What will we name these TCs? And I had like 70 live viewers. I eventually uploaded it to YouTube, thinking all of my 200 viewers would on YouTube would hate it. And I go back to that video from time to time, and people give ideas on what to name the TC, because the video is still getting views, so... It's super trippy. You'd never see this, but I did see in that Force Nothing cast. Okay. Purple, I come help. This is Red. Okay, so Red's got Berserks. And Cavalier. Viking Cavalier. Uh, very, very weak units. But Persian Crossbows are also very weak. 100 years is Heister. Yeah, so everyone's got to get moving. I guess Teal isn't really committing a lot to these wonders. Like, does have a lot of army, but isn't really trying to take the mid and, and may, might have just been distracted. Uh, Shulker actually has a pretty sizable force and is going to want that gold. Gray is correct. Gray is pretty much dead. And Blue says same. Is being... Killed by Genitors at the moment. Um, we got 80 years, and Teal's starting to send more trash posts to the middle, it looks like. So, Red's going this way? Why are we going here first? <laughs> There's three timers on the screen. Come on! Heister. Come on, guys! You can move. I know you can, all right? I know the pressure's tough. Thank God for you, you can't hear me right now because it'd probably be even more pressure on you. I believe in you. Now, I forget which wonder is which. I think this is the one that's at 70. So this will be cleared and reset. Open the gate for you, red, says blue. All so kind. Okay. Um, this, let, let's see if I'm correct on that. If this is the 120 year one, we have problems. Okay. All right, so that goes back up to 350. Heister is now going to all in for this. This is going to be Heister's everything. There's no play for Heister going anywhere else. Heister's got two Fatorias for gold. Doesn't care about anything else. This one's now at 120. Now, red, for whatever reason, I think red's trying to save blue from green. So we're seeing Viking Cavalier against Genitor. Viking Cavalier, they lack bloodlines. They lack final armor. Um, in general, just not the best Cavalier, but still taking one damage a hit from the Genitors, I believe. Uh, or is it two damage a hit? I think it's two damage a hit, actually. Is it three damage a hit? Okay, well, the Genitors are winning again. And Red just, I guess, really likes blue. And Shulker trying to help. Um, and is doing what he can. Shulker really hasn't had gold. I remember his economy was so bad because he deleted his own TC early. Oh, wait. No, Shulker still has the arbs here. Great job from Shulker for remembering the game mode despite everything else that's going wrong currently. And Heister says, can anyone else stop Teal on the top side? And that looks like it's what we're going to see here. Yeah, th this army should be able to kill Teal's army. Also... <laughs> Green will then be next up, guys. <laughs> and I think Green could win this game with Genitors. <laughs> I actually think Green can do it. 
Orange is going to have to come over and help somehow. This will be reset. <laughs> Um, now, they are Persian Cav here, so maybe they'll get some good value. Uh, feels like it's going to be close. Shulker had more army, I thought. This wasn't Persian Cavalier. Probably wouldn't do it. And okay, the countdown resets. Green has a clock of 159 years. Can Green do it with only Genitors? Probably not. A unit could run to the middle and reset this at any time. And Teal's like, no, because Teal thought that... Maybe it was winnable. Poor Gray was trying to reboom, by the way. Got a castle right next to his TC. That wasn't very kind of you, Shulker. But the countdowns continue to reset in this game. And I think it will reset again. 350 years is a long reset. And as good, air quotes, as the Tenators have performed against, uh, you know, some of the units that have come over here. At the end of the day, I think even the Light Calf now could do something here for Blue. He's got more armor now than he did in the past. And Green loves the Genitor. It's a mounted skirm. And Green realizing maybe this isn't going to be the best play. I want to see, does Green have gold? Yeah, Green doesn't have any gold income, but to be fair, could just be mining the gold in the middle, right? Like, could have been doing so with, with so many villagers this whole time. And Gray's going to try and reboom. <laughs> um, so I'm currently expecting this to reset. And Shulker says, I wasn't attacking you until you towered. So I guess that's what happened here. And yeah, I can see both perspectives. I'm sure Gray was like really paranoid that the world is out to get him. And that's why the tower went up. They did also fight earlier on in the game, so it would make sense. Okay. <laughs> Grace says, Welp, live and learn. I like the perspective. My current favorite to win this game, guys, is he's in the driver's seat, okay? He's number one position of the three wonders. He's taking some of the gold here. He's sitting there with halves and organ guns. Teal is hoping to, to mass units and take this wonder. But that wonder's at 320 years. So if orange isn't displaced from this wonder, that will not be enough. I think green will eventually die, which will actually give red and blue opportunities here as well. Teal I'm a bit unsure on. Teal clearly has some fight and makes a lot of army. So I think in terms of favorites, we have teal, we have orange, and then maybe a combination. Like I think red should be a favorite because of the resources, but... Maybe a combination of, like, blue and red. But I think if Orange simply gets more production buildings and keeps the army queue flowing here, I think Orange wins this game. Because the only player that can realistically get over here because of these stone walls would be um, Teal. It's going to take Teal a little bit of time to realize the situation. I'm not sure if, like, Paladin Trashbow is good enough. Trashbow should be pretty helpful against the Halps, though. Hmm. So I'm assuming you can't build on the sand terrain. Looks like Orange probably tried to just place a full wall there. But we have uh, more light calf spam against Genitors. Green hasn't at any point thought, maybe I can head over to the Golds. Uh, Green has made his bed. Now he's got to lie in it and... It's trying clearly and is probably like, no, I don't want to die. But committed to the Genitor is a little too strong. Never go full Genitor. And the unit's just, it's a situational unit. And you can have some big problems if that's all you go for. <laughs> yeah, yellow dropped, uh, but there was a weird bug where his he had a wonder appearing and reappearing all the time. And so that's why yellow score so high. I don't think anyone will ever pass that score, but we'll see. Let's check stockpiles again. Very little on gold for everybody, but red's got 12,000 gold. Please make champion red. <laughs> Please make champion instead of cavalier. It's also still interesting that red doesn't want to kill blue. They are enemies, right? 
but red is choosing to just pass through blue's base. They kind of have a an agreement going here, which I don't think helps anyone. Now, I like this a lot. And we're going to see walls around the, the uh, bridges, which is especially helpful because no one has cut through to these bridges. And then we have more walls from uh, Demon Llama. Or, not, sorry, not Demon Llama, Heister. So, the two players who, have, I think, have played the game mode to the the best of their abilities so far, um, really thinking about things, and they're really diving deep into their memory bank on ideas you can use for King of the Hill. I like this. You need gates here, obviously, and the awkward thing would be the fact that you're sending units through those gates to get to the middle, whereas here, you're sending your units behind it all. So you're not really going to be opening up the gate for somebody. Red, you want more town centers, bro? <laughs> I guess Red might want TCs on wood, but... <laughs> Red's got like 20 TCs in this game. Is starting to lose lots of villagers to the random raids from Teal, though. And that could be why Red is, is maybe expecting to lose this area. Hmm... 220 years right now. So I'm thinking about this. You know, we've got um, different skill levels involved, right? And it, I want to talk about the game at hand, of course. But I like to think about potential for maps and what they can do. Because when we have a new idea, I want to swing it into, you know, bigger and better ideas for the future. I think it's actually fair to say that if the Wonder would have reset back up to 100, this game would have ended already. And we would have been sitting here like, oh, why did no one make it there? Because it seems like it's really awkward to have a, an eco setup that's proper. So for that reason, I actually really like the fact that the Wonder Countdown resets to 350. Because again, I think this game would have ended and it would have been rather boring. I wonder if there's maybe a sweet spot though, right? Like maybe it's like a 200 sweet spot instead of a 100. Because it is still a really long time. I also wonder if maybe if it's diplomacy and players aren't constantly having to run into each other and kill each other, if if the players have more resources. Because, like, Shulker's, like, he's kind of just, like, out of res. Gray has been pushed out as well. Blue, he's been making light calf, but he would be dead if Red chose to attack him. Like, there's just, it just seems like it's really awkward for players to play the map on a straight free-for-all. So, you know, things to think about, right? And I think, you know, it, we've got different skill levels involved here as well. But I think the players have all played really well. It's just they just kept running into each other all the time. And since they didn't have the option to ally each other, they're forced to attack each other. Finally, though, someone's making a dash over to this gold. I like it. That's where most of the gold is left, right next to these monuments. Couple bombard towers for orange. Teal, massing more stables here. But at some point, someone's going to have to say, uh, guys, we have to take orange. But the only player that I could see attacking orange and taking orange off this monument is Teal. If Teal does that, then I think Teal will be in a position to win this. But I'm just not so sure. It obviously hurt this game that Yellow, who was in a really strong position, dropped. Because it felt like Yellow had a really good strategy. Yellow was on two wonders for a while there. I like... I think what Orange has done here is fine. I think one layer of fortified wall is fine. I think he also might have limited resources. Uh, like, he's out of stone right now. It does, of course, get, like, a small stone trickle, but... Considering Orange is below 100 stone, I kind of like the fact that Orange is at least spending it. Going for Palisade Walls, it's it buys time, right? Every little bit can help. Stone Wall, obviously, significantly better. Teal trying to stop Shulker because Shulker could be an issue in the north. And Shulker's going to do what he can do and just make some pikes here. Also, another game where we cast a scenario with Capture Age and it just lags. I want to see if maybe I could do this. Uh, it's actually not lagging. It just goes a bit slower. I wonder if I can take off the enhanced graphics and see if that makes a difference. Now, in my experience, I think it actually has to do with players. 
if the players are lagging, then I, I lag as well. So we'll just turn it back to what it was. All right. More barracks from orange. Production buildings still close to the monument. Perfect. Units being created all the time, it seems. Teal a little distracted. Here comes Red, Viking Cavalier. Red's gonna, I assume, take out Teal's Trebs. And Red has chat settings set to talk to Blue. Because they were doing this little side deal earlier. Something I think Red might regret later on. Some people just come into these games. They, they show up on a Friday and they're just like, I want a Diplo game. And then I say straight free for all. And then in their mind, they're just like, Diplo, Diplo, Diplo. So, uh, being in that state of the mind, they... they they don't do what's best for them, right? Like, I think Red absolutely should have killed Blue. No offense, Blue. I hope you don't take the T90 fanboy off your name because of that. But, um, but yeah, you should have been killed. <laughs> uh, this is not helping Red to leave you in the game. But it's 150 years for Heister, man. Woo. What could help is minimize the game in setting if you don't use it already. Uh, what is that setting? What's it do? Minimizes the game if I'm, like, tabbed out or whatever? Red, uh, making lots of stable units with Vikings. And I'll say this. He does... Red does commit to it. Did random into Vikings as well. Maybe he likes to play Khmer or Poles or Civilizations as Stables. Maybe it's a preference thing. Hey, T90, is there another game after? I hope so. I hope to do more. I'm definitely getting hungry, so I'm going to have to stop to do a dinner break. But yeah, I want to do more games for sure. Okay, so purple's breaking through here. So Shalker's helping. Uh, Teal's got mainly Paladin in queue out of the stables. Doesn't actually have the pop space for it, but Paladin should be very strong. The player who has the lowest countdown is Orange. And Orange is simply just adding more walls? Uh, green reset this one, by the way. Back up to 350. Uh, green hoping, obviously, that maybe Pikes and Genitors could do it later on. But there's there's no, like, Teal's stuck because Teal's at full pop. And Teal's trying to hold this wonder. But there's just no one here to save the day on this side. Uh, I'm struggling to see how things are going to change unless... Actually, you know what would change it is Red running to the middle right now and killing these two units. If Red kills these two units, it could change the game because Teal will have no wonder to fight for anymore. Teal will have no countdown to really fight for if that were to reset. It being at 160 years, though, gives you hope. And Red's is strong, very strong. Again, sadly not realizing it's not going to anyone but Blue. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's a bit of a problem. <laughs> Stone walls, palisades. I wonder if you were to take the shorefish if you could dock this. I bet you could. What you do is you take the shorefish. Yeah, I think you have to take all four. And you build a dock. You set the gather point for all those like cannon galleons inside of your dock. And then you delete the dock. And then the ships would be sitting there all stacked. Actually, I wonder what caravels would do against like crossbows and halbs and whatever else. So normally there is a, a notification. There is some type of a noise that plays when it gets to 100 years and 50 years. So if they're not thinking about it, we might end up seeing uh, that, that notification soon. Okay, Shulker here to save the day. Shulker actually will take the middle now. Um, Well, I'm actually not sure because as the crossbows die, there will be paladins in uh, reinforcement and paladins will beat the eagles. But the crossbows should have very little chance here. And Heisterman isn't saying a word. <laughs> He's just like, they don't seem to notice. <laughs> I'm not going to remind them. And uh, Red still sitting on, well, 4k gold now. Red seems a little uncertain on what to make. They're trying to just make stable units on both sides. Maybe conserve some of that gold. But man, the like have not looked good. Don't Vikings have the worst like Kevin in the game? No, no, no. Well, Koreans have the worst Hussar. 
but they at least get Hussar. I think, actually, I think Malay Light Cab is worse, right? I'm trying to remember. Do Malay get Bloodlines? They get Bloodlines, they get no second and third armor. They do get full attack. Anyways, Vikings are at least in the conversation for the worst Light Cab in the game. If we're talking civilizations that only get to Light Cab, obviously, like... Like, Toot and Scouts are, are actually fantastic because they get full Blacksmith upgrades. But, I mean, 80 years. No one's saying anything to Teal. No one's really notifying him, letting him know the situation here. And I'm sure Teal's hoping that someone's going to do something. And, like, Gray, Gray's still going to try. Gray's like, we're going to mass some skirmishers here. Maybe Shulker could do something as well, but... They're just so focused playing the game. And this is what's gonna happen. Teal's gonna like Teal's good now, right? Teal dealt with the wave of eagles, has been guarding this entrance, and Teal's gonna be like feeling like a god, and then Teal's gonna be like, "Oh crap, what do I do?" It would be pretty sick though if Teal were to um, onager cut here, because like doesn't exactly seal the walls, but could actually onager cut through here, and then they could access each other's monument. Okay, here we go. Teal goes, anyone trying to get orange because I get pressured by red and can't. Also, red's like, time to spend our stone. Uh, red's gonna have four castles and could maybe make berserks. Green says, I'm dead, sorry. I like this communication. It's a little, it's very late, but I like the communication anyways. Um, red's saying I can... So Red is volunteering for a job that I'm not sure is realistic. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Okay, more Viking Cav. Red's up for the challenge. Ooh, does Red really not see any of the walls? Oh, those walls are so good then. I thought they knew about the walls. Oh, Teal can see the walls. Red doesn't see any of them. Oh, God. Oh, and it's double layer... You'd have to go all the way through Orange's base to get there. It just, I mean, by the time you get there, the count, the countdown's finished. I mean, from Teal's perspective, there's there's some type of a wall. I think Teal needs to try. Right? This could be epic if Teal Onager cuts through. This could be epic. I actually believe that if he's got the Q and he does, he could actually do it. Oh, come on, baby, come on, Microsoft Paint. Let's go. Keep moving. Keep moving. Oh, it's going to be so last minute. It's so last minute. Okay. He's probably going to cut it here first and then realize the wall's there. And then you have to... No, no, no. Oh, this is going to be awkward. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Are you serious, game? You can't show him that one tile? Now he's going to back up and gather his units. And, oh, man. Meanwhile, Red's going for the slalom of death. Um... Here we go. Oh, green dropped. There goes Teal. Teal still can't see it. Oh, come on. This is unfair. Come on, game. I think you're wasting our precious time. Oh, there we go. You can see the tile wall. Just one tree. One tree. Please hit the tree. Hit the tree. Hit the tree. Hit the tree. Come on. Teal, hit the tree. Uh, hit, the, uh, hit, the, hit the tree, man. He doesn't see it. He's so distracted. No, not the wall, the tree. You're so close. Red's like, I can't do it. Red tried. Credit to you, Red, for trying. Hit the tree. No. <laughs> oh, so disappointing. You can see the obvious confusion. Teal's like, what is this path thing, man? It's like, what's happening? <laughs> Uh, 20 years for Orange. Orange still hasn't said anything, so he's just going to break through the wall? Okay. Well, it's very obvious for us. I'm sure in the moment it's not so obvious. Oh, please don't lose your Onagers. No, no, no. Okay, well, you got you to gotta try and hit the organs because you're going to lose units here. All right, crossbows are going to, to work against that wall. Crossbows actually would have been half decent here. But the Onager's gone down now. It's at 15 years. And if it's any consolation, Teal, I think Orange was prepped to defend this anyways. 
The production buildings were there and ready. And blue has come in to try and reset this one. Uh, blue is 300 years on the other countdown. But that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be it. Orange is gonna get the win. He chose one monument, and he said, "I'm gonna stick with this, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get the right times." And everyone else saying now this would have been more interesting with Diplo. I you know it's always a really tough decision for me. Diplo, King of the Hill, can do some weird buggy things with the monuments and Allied Victory. Um, I, I've also had never played the map before, so I was a bit unsure. I think the concept is still very new, and if people were wanting a slightly more competitive game, obviously, hopefully, we don't have yellow drop next time. Uh, I think players can have a feel for how it works, and then, um, you know, like, what happens with any game mode is we do it one time and then the next time people are like, hmm, I know what went wrong for that person. So I'm going to try and not make 300 genitors. Or, oh, I see. You really need to get the golds in the middle. Got it. Like all those people didn't take golds in the middle. So by the like fourth or fifth time we do it, people get a greater understanding. And then the concept's really cool. I actually think the concept's great. I think, what would you guys think about there being more resources here because here's my concern it felt like a very big so like if you push here for resources you're gonna get hit like gray for example just got mashed because teal had to come to the middle um so i i think if you're anywhere near the monument here or here you get destroyed right but i think the safe area and it Keep in mind, even if like just two people take these positions, it just means so much more space elsewhere. Right here and right here. If you had like wood and then some golden stone here, you have players expand down to this way. Then there's more space in the mid and then some people take the north as well. The concept's super cool. I think that there was a lot of butting heads, um, which may or may not happen every time, but I think it became difficult for players to find wood, for example. Like I think... a couple chunks of wood in the north too would have been really nice if there's more if the resources are just more spread out i'm not even concerned with there being too much because they're going to be fighting over stuff so there's just places for players to go um and there's just not as many people dying early i think the concept gets really interesting i'm still kind of against diplomacy for king of the hill because it never ends you know you can have one person with 50 Celt Siege Onagers and 50 Halbs, and then like six people turn against him. And then that cycle just repeats. Um, free, so free for all is kind of nice. But think about the potential here, guys. Like this, this could have been an Onager cut through. This could have been Onager cut through. All those things are things that the players are now going to be kicking themselves for. I think the map's really cool. So also, uh, shout out to Yellow, even though you did drop. Thank you to your internet or the game or whatever, because that bug was hilarious, actually. <laughs> With the wonder just being built and destroyed nonstop, it was pretty wild. Um, Teal didn't win the game, but got a lot more kills. Uh, 824 kills that game. Not bad. Also raised 155 buildings. Red did collect a lot of resources. Uh, I'm sure Red is a little disappointed that it was Vikings instead of a civilization that had better stable units, but... Maybe felt the need to just try something there. Um, yeah, it looks like a lot. Uh, concept was cool. Only other thing I'll add, and then obviously we can see what people think in the YouTube comments later, is I kind of like the timer. Like, I think the timer reset being at 350 is too much. I agree that 100 might not be... I, I think 100 could be too crazy, though. So if I had my choice, I would actually go for 200 or 150. 150 even seems reasonable. This is an extra 50 years for people to be like, guys, we need to get to that wonder. And then they have to strategize to cut through or do whatever. So 150 or 200, and I think I like it a lot more as well. Um, I think I'd be a little resistant to doing it again if it was still 350, but I don't know what's possible. Uh, it doesn't say wonders built in Capture Age. Wait, no, it does say total of 17. Okay, so that, that probably includes those wonders. I don't even know if they were built. I felt like it was happening for a longer time than that. <laughs>
but yeah, we can we can toy around with the concept. I hope people enjoyed. I hope the players uh, didn't struggle too much. And thanks everyone for playing.